Now then folks, in this video we're going to overhaul the steering box on this B450 so when it goes down the road the front wheels aren't slapping about all over the place. Here we have Robert coming back from the Providence. Been there all afternoon, boozed up on tractor. Don't know where he is, can't drive in a straight line. But he's loving it. He loves it. The replacement parts were off John from repair and maintenance who was also quite knowledgeable and very helpful for undertaking this task. Well, we're nearly there. I'll set the camera off and get two hands on it. Whee! Look at that! So I've just disconnected this uh, steering column which attaches onto there. Pulled it off with pry bar. And there looks to be nut fin washer and a thickish washer holding that on and then at this side there's like a, a spongy foam washer and I wonder if that's where it leaks right so I've got the steering box off looks to be a fancy one one groove missing there so you can line it up I'm, I'm guessing and then when you take this shaft off here that looks to be the foamy stuff in this looks that's got replacement for looks to be a gold brass so it turns out them gaskets are shims and the idea is to move them as the metal starts to wear away to take away the slack so it stays better i had to remove all of the ones on this one so the main shaft i guess must have had some use or abuse and then out of the three shims on the side plate i think we only removed the thin one so got the cover cap off the bottom here got it in vice or something's odd in it and i think we can see our problem straight away we're missing a few balls. Yes, yeah, so I've got it. Cover off here. There's another like um, metal type seal on it, and it just looks as though someone's taken a crap in it. Lovely. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can disassemble it somehow, and I think so. It looks as though this pushes out. This nasty looking bit. Whoa. Let me get a squirt of WD. So that should. That's the outer shell of a bearing, I think, is that? There's all balls, look. Just disintegrated. Just wanted a little love tap, didn't it? Oh, that looks nasty as. Oh, I've done that. Oh, all the balls are coming out. Can't beat plenty of length. <laughs> Might have this back together by tomorrow. So just put this um, corkscrew shaft in. Put end plates on and bearings in. Do you want to twizzle it, Stu? Not too bad, is it? Oh, no, don't job on it. Yeah, and we haven't put any of them shims back in because I uh, don't think it needs it. Slack as a you know what. Right, should we get that drive worm in? So we're in box H. And I think it was this number uh, number 219. From box H. Just banged a little o-ring in there, hopefully that's going to stop oil coming out. I'll tell you what, if that does it, it'll be mint, won't it? So when I put this cover cap up back on here, I filled it with a mixture of grease and some leftover gear oil from the farm oil that I had. 
It's so got the new steering box back on. I haven't put the felt, I think there's a felt thing goes in there, we haven't put it in. B really six doesn't have it in. Maybe we'll be better with it in, but it was too tight for it and it seemed to um, make it grind a bit. So it isn't perfectly mint mint. When I went down road in it, it was a hell of a lot better than it was before. Reuse old steering wheel, I think they're not really wrong with it, it'd be all right. Um, but then when I got it back on, I had structure going on to get it to start. So I did change the old solenoid valve. So this is the old solenoid, except them two, when I've tested them, they have the same contact. So I've put the two wires that run on the same one, but then it sort of kept the starter motor engaged when you started it, which isn't what we wanted. So I don't know why it's done that. So there's new solenoid. And then that wire was on there, went up to generator, alternator, whatever it is up here. Back of there. And I've taken that off and given it a clean so it can slide in and out and it was fairly clean really. Put a new battery lead on. So that's the old, that's the new battery lead there. I've not I've not got new terminals yet. Never reused the old neutral which might go again. Doesn't seem too bad. Because the old live was massive. Loads of it. So it starts way better now. So anyway, we're gonna go take it rolling. Well folks, thanks for tuning in to another instalment of fixing this B450 oily rag up. Um, as we can see here, I think we might have a little bit of an engine problem as it's blowing quite a lot of oil out of the breather. Um, and also, it's quite um, poor performance on low revs, it'll soon stall, especially with the roller on the back. The reason why I've been rollering is to try and compact the ground a bit, um, to help the grass a bit after the crows have been at it with the Schaefer grubs have you had that problem where you are also I couldn't believe how much difference that battery positive lead med putting that on made it like instantly start as opposed to just whirring over and over and over and over all the time so it's getting a lot better at starting uh, it's definitely a lot better at steering in a straight line so I hope you'll join us next time when hopefully we're going to fix the hydraulics on it oh dear Oh boy, error.